representing the Environmental Network Cooperation Circle. We are a collection of CC members from across the URI network working on environmental issues, which span anywhere from installing solar panels on the roof of schools in Kolkata, India, to hosting community permaculture classes in Florida to uh, protesting coal terminals in Oakland. We are working on creating partnerships between um, environmentally focused folks in the URI network to encourage that work, to create bonds, and to share resources that we have. Join in uh, with our our conversation on environmental issues and hear the stories and the inspiring work that's happening in the network. Interfaith Observer started uh, in September. September will be your sixth birthday, I guess. The publication came out of a desire to start to share some of the thousands of interfaith stories around the world who aren't hearing about. We have about 10,000 readers. We come out every, on the 15th of every month. Basically, we do yoga for under-resourced communities, ranging from children with special needs, rural women, rural youth, and hoping to start working with prison communities. I represent the uh, Voices for a World Free of Nuclear Weapons. We have um, 15 people. Uh, diplomats, uh, scientists, lawyers, etc. We meet once a month. We've met for the last seven years. Uh, we have a nuclear prayer, which we say every meeting. We have a call to conscience, which uh, describes what we're about. And presently, we're working on an open letter to the URI community about the heightened uh, nuclear risk and threat to the world at this particular moment. So you'll be hearing from us in an open letter, and uh, we hope that uh, you'll take it seriously and, and get back to us and uh, work with us. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Patrick Cronfley. I'm one of the founders of Unify. Uh, Unify organizes global synchronized meditations and days of social action. We now have 10,000 event organizers in over 100 countries that bring their community days together for Earth Day, Peace Day, and World Water Day. We just organized something on International Women's Day. And the next campaign we're organizing is for Syria. We hope that you guys join us. The URI UN was one of the original founding cooperation circles. Uh, of both the United Religions Initiative and also the multi-region since our work is global. And um, our purpose is to provide a bridge between the United Religions Initiative and the United Nations. Our job at the UN is to bring your work into um, the awareness of people at the United Nations and to share the work of the United Nations with you so that you can use 
United Nations agenda and themes in your programming. The Sustainable Development Goals are the agenda for eradicating poverty and transforming our world, for the Agenda 2030. And our focus as a team at the UN is to really bring spirit into the work of the UN in New York and to help excite our network about the work of the UN to incorporate it because it is a wonderful bridge for bringing international themes to the local level. Peace Media and Communications Network, CC, was founded in 2008 in Mayapur, India, at United Religions' first youth-oriented conference. In 2011, we rebranded ourselves as Think Peace International, or TPI for short. Our organization does peace work and peace building through arts and communication programming, where we build collaborative peace initiatives through various peace movements, fostering peace in action. We are artists, educators, and social activists making a difference in the world. We're young, old, black, brown, white, and all the hues in between, different faiths, races, cultures, and genders. We are part of groups and organizations made up of individuals who walk the talk of peace. And I hope that you will go and see all the things that we're doing at thinkpeaceinternational.org. This is Josh Thomas, Executive Director of Kids for Peace. We are an interfaith youth movement that started in Jerusalem 15 years ago uh, by a group of Christian, Jewish, and Muslim, Palestinian, and Israeli families uh, who came together during the time uh, of great violence, uh, believing that religion could be a force that unites them rather than divides them. Uh, from those first 12 families back in 2002, Kids for Peace has grown into a community uh, reaching more than 500 youth uh, in the Jerusalem area. Uh, and another several hundred across our other locations in the United States, in Canada, in France. Uh, and we operate a long-term year-round youth development programs that uh, aim to connect youth from uh, opposite sides of deep social divisions who are experiencing uh, conflict and violence, discrimination, and equality, uh, give them the opportunity to meet one another face-to-face, -face, uh, learn about each other's religions, cultures, and daily realities, uh, and then empower them with the skills to be agents of social change. So our youth work uh, in promoting nonviolence, in community organizing that improve their local communities uh, and also advocacy political leaders to try and encourage them to uh, build a more just and equitable world. So we're excited to be a new member uh, of URI and to link our interfaith work with youth uh, together with partners from around the world. The whole purpose of our, the goals are supporting fellow indigenous spiritual leaders and communities into reviving their traditions to serve future generations and um, reintegrate our ecosystem's knowledge um, in combating climate change. We're excited about our purpose in terms of really um, helping folks to reconnect to their in, um, indigenous spirituality which connects so very much to the ecosystem and our fight against climate change. Mm -hmm.